What's going on guys? We got a big review today. We got Noir, first off the line. Very excited to get this big, big set. And uh, yeah, exciting release. We also have Last Chance to enter our big giveaways going on. And if you want to enter to win either the high-end singles for basketball or the singles from Prism for football, as well as the packs of Prism for football. So a lot of prizes, all the info is down below. Uh, the steps to enter are like and subscribe for both of them, the first two steps. And then for the high-end singles for basketball, third step is just comment on the giveaway video, your favorite moment from the season, link down below. And then third and fourth steps for the Prism one is three, follow me on whatnot, it's free. And I have a link down below if you don't have an account yet, get 10 free dollars when you use that link to sign up. So uh, yeah, definitely uh, join those giveaways, try your luck there. Uh, the fourth step is just be in our live stream when it's time, you'll see it under my profile, uh, search for users, Pac-Man, spelled as it is there, just Pac-Man, and uh, you'll see that live there. So just join when it's time and we'll be giving away all that Prism stuff. High end singles all end on the same day. So, info's down below. Best of luck. And uh, yeah, now time for some noir. I've been looking forward to this for a long time since last year's noir. So, here's the information for this one. First off the line, gives us a nice early look. So, thank you, first off the line here. These boxes cost a lot. So, let's get into this information. SRP is $700. And Hobby resells like 2K, high 1K range, somewhere around there. First off the line, can't really find too much, but I would say based on what I've seen, maybe high 2K, 3K range, maybe could be completely off. But based on last year's ones I saw sell, don't really see much for this year's one yet. But um, yeah, very, very expensive. I'd say more than hobby by a few to several hundred, somewhere around there. So definitely a pricey set. Now in every box, you can expect 10 cards. So right there and one pack per box. So four box cases. Look for four autographs and three relics, so seven hits there, and then the rest are base or inserts, something like that. All autographs are on card, so that's a nice plus. Very pricey, but at least it's on card. There have been uh, stickers like National Treasures, so. All right, continuing on. Now the base. Now there's Association or Icon Edition base cards with different jerseys uh, for the rookies and the vets. Parallels include gold, hollow gold to five, platinum one of ones. Then there's metal frame cards. So there's stuff like uh, the base statement. There's the feature length, split screen, vintage art, the one that I like a lot. And now new this year is Slam Kicks. Mm, very cool. I think there's like five guys on there and uh, it's pretty nice. Now the first off the line box is the bonus. Haven't talked about that yet. That's because it has to do with the metal cards. You get one bonus card to 11 gold frame. So the others are silver. First off the line has the gold one. So look out for those to 11. Now... Let me get to the uh, back of the box where you can find everything else. Oh, there's the thing there. All right. So here is the uh, the back. And there's a lot going on. Yeah, so autographs. So the top ones you want are the spotlight signatures, horizontal and vertical. I like vertical a little more, but both are nice. And then there's sneaker spotlight signatures. Those are very popular. Then there's the RPAs, which are horizontal, I believe. Not a huge fan of those, honestly especially when they're horizontal. If they're vertical, I'd probably like them a lot more. That's my personal opinion. If you like horizontal, then these might be right up your alley. They have a little uh, kind of jersey piece there, patch, and then a uh, sign-on card. The lowest number is to five. Those are tag versions. And that might be the only parallel for those. So look out for that. There's black and white in color uh, for most of the sets. There's rookie and vet autographs, vet patch autos. There's 75th anniversary ones, raining nights, shadow autographs, bunch of stuff like that. So memorabilia, dish night, there's newsreels, two shot rookie jerseys featuring two players and uh pretty cool i like that one i don't know if that was in the past but it's nice to see kind of two like that it might have been i might have just not seen one uh box office elegant decor and gem of materials there's prime and super prime one of ones and then inserts include sneaker spotlight and then a bunch of update cards from previous sets so there you go a lot of different stuff in this set so that's everything you can find and let's get into our opening here Ooh, noir it's a it's a fun one and Miss Pack wants to open some, so if you want to see us open some with her like we did last year, and I probably should do it regardless because she pulled that big one last year, so it'd be in my best interest to open some with her again. But if you want to see some, let me know. Say Miss Pack back, and maybe she'll make an appearance. Who knows? If she's interested in this box, is there we go. Barely coming open, and as always, this little cardboard gets crushed by the weight and strength of this box here with all our cards all right there we go oh i lied there we go all right whoo here goes nothing noir basketball 
comes in this little mini box, which is the pack. And in the background, we have the vintage art from last year, Wiseman, that's the first off the line, and LeBron from a mail day recently. Pac-Man Cards IG, check it out. Post tons of stuff, like looks at this product, different things, hobby news, and all these boxes are like way too tight on here. You can barely get it off. But you don't want all the cards to go flying, which is why you don't want to just rip it off, but yeah, maybe a size too small here, huh? There we go. All right, let's see what we got. And these ones have always kind of been a pain. Did I get it? Because, oh, no, I did not get it. See, I'll show you in a second why it's actually like impossible to open these. And there's still stuff in there that we can't get out. There we go. I know, I didn't like that sound I just heard. There we go. The problem with these boxes is this. Look right here. These form a little kind of right there a little piece that doesn't let the cards fully come out so you got to wiggle them around way more than we would like so take forever to open those boxes and not good for the condition of the cards it always gets stuck in that little lip there but anyway here's our first first card here finally all right so first one up is rookie trey murphy to 99 it's a nice looking card there we go icon edition so, uh, yeah, they are 130 point, I'd say might be some thicker, but I think they're all at least that thickness. So, all right, this is our first one and, uh, it's a rookie. Nice. I actually like this year's design with that kind of like brick wall. looks pretty cool. And yeah, there we are. All right. Next card up and once again, enter those giveaways quick and easy. Shouldn't take more than a minute or so. You win lots of prizes. And, uh, as always, once again, you like those, the videos you see. Show support, like, sub. All right, Garuba. Uh, memberships help us do big openings like this. Links down below in the description. And you get some bonus content there. But all those help us do more big reviews and we'll review everything we can. These big boxes, they are nerve wracking. Next card up. All right. Let's see. Our frame card should be, I believe, somewhere soon, if I remember correctly. I'm not Exactly sure. Let's just see what we got. Okay, so our last base card, 35 KD. Every year they kind of shuffle the cards around in a different order to keep you on your toes. And uh, yeah, they did it again. All right. This has to be the frame. Yeah, okay, so the frame card's right here. The frame is a bonus card. So sometimes your first offline bonus will replace a card. This is a bonus card. So let's see where our frame card is. A slam would be sick. Anything cool? All right, here we go. Three, two, one. What is this? Oh, feature length Kawhi. Three, oh, one off. Three of 11. Nice looking card. Not a massive hit, but it's a pretty nice one. There's definitely bigger sets to find, like the slam, for example, or vintage art, in my opinion. But uh, it's nice. I like Kawhi. Have a nice little collection of nice quiet cards and i feel like a lot of them are first off the line ones there we are so what do you guys think the gold ones definitely look much better than the silver so which isn't exactly a hot take but yeah the gold so nice silver don't really pop to me but they're still nice cards so that's still 11 that's your first off the line bonus not a huge bonus compared to others but it's nice here should be our hits now Hit number one. Or actually, I guess that was the first one. Hit number two. All right. Nice napkin. Rookie Jumbo Material Primo. But not such a Primo patch, is it? $24.99. And look out for damage on these cards on the back. This one actually looks pretty decent other than this thing from the jersey. But these cards always end up having some things on them. There we go. All right, next one up. We have, so nice we got it twice. So there we are. This is 13 of 99, Pritchard. Oh wait, yeah, he was the last year rookie. I I'm stunned. Game worn. So, huh, 
That's actually uh that's a first. Yeah. Wow. I'm pretty surprised to see that. This is not anything, right? Yeah, not associated, but for a last year rookie, game worn now? Wow. I'm uh I'm impressed. Alright, let's keep going. Next one up. Can we get game worn again or player worn to get the Trinity? All right, so probably not game worn, but elegant decor. This is Greg Brown, a guy who we've seen a lot. Seven of 25. Uh huh, yeah. But still nice. Three color patch. Looks cool. All the patch cards, I feel like a lot of you might agree with this. They don't hit as much as they do when they're not associated. I mean, there's no excuse really to not have at least player worn. So, yeah, there we go. All right, now I should start the autographs. So far, it's been cool, but nothing that's really blown my mind. Is this a redemption or what? Uh, no, I don't think it is. What is this? Oh, is it one of those? I think I have an idea of what this is. And if I'm correct, I'm not a huge fan of these. All right, card is... George McKinnon. Yeah, see... This is not a noir card. So if you pulled one of those like, I don't know what they're called, the icon association kind of autographs. This is not from noir. This is just a random set that Peeny made and a bunch of people sign it. So it's some good signers, but not all of them. So yeah, but this is not a card from noir. It's in the box, but this is not part of the set. This is just something they put in these boxes and definitely not a fan of seeing these ones. But there's a lot of good ones you can find. Just, if I'm opening Noir, I kind of want Noir cards. And that is not a Noir card. So, not number or anything like that, but you can get them in most products. Every product will have a checklist of a few players who you can pull, and you'll see these random cards in there. So, I wish they were bonuses. If they're bonuses, I'd love them, but they're not. And because of that, I don't love them. All right. Next card is... All right, so nice we got them twice. Garuba. It's a nice patch. I mean... Don't love the horizontal RPAs, but that is a pretty good patch of, I would assume, maybe the the Rockets, or is it maybe the back, the nameplate? I'm not sure, but that's pretty cool. Got that beautiful, crazy autograph, but nice. Now, if I could have any card from this set, I want the Cade Sneaker Spotlight and the Cade Spotlight Signature. So, the Spotlight more than the Sneaker, which is probably opposite what everyone else would want, but I love the spotlights. Only problem is if we don't see one, I'll say it now, I guess. Only problem with those cards is the ink gets very streaky. So my Anthony Edwards, you barely see it. Oh, there's an acetate finish to this card. So this could be a spotlight or this could be, well, I guess it has to be a spotlight, right? All right, let's see. Three, two, one. Jason Williams, 1099. It is a spotlight and this ink is actually incredible. That's the most consistent I've ever seen in ink. Not a huge card, honestly. But um, looks nice. And that is probably top 0.1% in terms of ink on this. I mean, that's how it's supposed to look. That looks so good. Yet, 95% of the time, at least, maybe 99. It's so streaky that sometimes you can't even see the autograph, which is very unfortunate. All right. Should be your last card. It has not been too good a box so far. This feels like a redemption. Oh boy. Well, I have a, I have a friend. You guys know him. He's our friend. It's this guy. All right. His name's Just Curry right now because you have to earn Lucky Curry. There we go. The fate of the universe, of the noir universe for me, revolves around this card here. So uh, let's hope it's good. Here we go. We have a redemption. So far, been a not so hot box. I'm really praying this is a good one. Okay. Once again, guys, do you like these big rips? Let me know. And Showtime signatures? I didn't even know that was one of the sets. Showtime signatures? Okay. Well, it is one of the sets. But yeah, let me know. We'll do more big rips. And uh, show support in these vids. All right. 13. It is. Sc oh, Scotty Barnes. Okay. <laughs> hey. Showtime signatures. I have no clue what that looks like. That's not one. I wrote down all the sets here, and that's not one I have on here. So I'm not really sure what this looks like.
So I looked up the card after the video and realized that this is actually a pretty solid set. So this one actually features players arriving to games, leaving games, and they're in their street clothes and not in a jersey or anything like that. Now, when I say it like that, it does not sound impressive at all, but uh, it actually looks pretty cool. You can look those up or I'll actually put some on the screen for you guys to see, but uh, completely forgot about this set. This is actually the images you see from previous years because being that this is an early look, there aren't really any listed, so haven't seen what this year's look like, but uh, hopefully the outfit is wearing is pretty cool, and I actually like this set. Probably my third favorite set that I just completely forgot about and somehow didn't write down, but yeah, nice Scotty. Very nice Scotty. I wish it said Sneaker Spotlight or something like that. I don't think he actually has a sneaker one or like Spotlight, but yeah, Showtime Signatures, I'm really not sure, but that's a nice card. Now, all right, usually, I've said this a few times, you don't want to see anything in the box until the end. Oh, man, my heart rate is is pretty uh high right now and it's not going to slow down soon but usually you don't want to see anything because you want that last card to hit however we've seen boxes where you don't see anything and the last card still doesn't hit so that's the risk i was getting nervous because we've seen some bad boxes but saved at the end by scotty barnes awesome i just don't know what that looks like because usually i think this is the first time i've pulled a redemption and not known at least what that set looks like so i'm very curious to see what it looks like if i find a picture or anything like that i'll pop it on the screen and we'll wait for scotty to sign with his beautiful sb auto but yeah, there we go. Save at the end. Let's do a recap and show you everything we got. If you have a Cade of these, I am interested. And hopefully the ink is not runny on his, but we will see. If it's not runny, I'm going to go nuts. But anyway, here we have Jason Williams, Spotlight. We have Garuba. We got McInnes. Yeah, boy. We have Greg Brown, Pritchard, Primo. And then we have Kawhi, SR, Gold Frame, KD. Garuba again, because we needed one more, and Trey Murphy, and Scotty Barnes. Saved by Scotty Barnes. I really want to see this one. I hope it looks cool, but I guess we'll find out. But yeah, there you go. Noir first off the line. Insanely expensive opening. And uh, that being said, it's a fun one. It's risky. I feel like there's some, uh, there's some big stuff to find, like the spotlight and the sneakers. But I definitely wish that some of the other sets were a little more coveted but um that being said i think it's kind of the middle of the pack in terms of like desirability for high-end sets um definitely a good one a lot of great looking cards the sneakers are kind of the primo card which is uh understandable they're really cool so let's get one to ten and this is first off the line hobby is the exact same thing just take out that metal card which is why well, i'm not sure if i'll do hobby we'll see i might do it um yeah let me know what you guys think you want to see it or not but yeah i'll give first off the line which is really 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 expensive on a scale from one to ten i'll give it a 5.25 one hair above average because compared to like an impeccable where the ceiling isn't insane because there's no one card i think the sneaker ones have become that kind of one card in here so look for those and there's that secondary card in the spotlight signature autographs so pricey too risky i think it goes for way more than it should shouldn't go for insane amount over hobby i feel like because the frame card isn't exactly an ntrpa with that kind of bonus but yeah let me know your thoughts down below a lot of fun and uh maybe we'll rip some more so this pack would definitely want to join in and try some for herself and she might pull me that kate i'm looking for but that's for this one guys a lot of fun hope you guys enjoyed it more big rips coming soon it's gonna be a busy month and uh stay tuned but appreciate you guys as always thank you for watching like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys later